The next question we can ask then, how can we synthesize all this? How can we bring this together? Fine, we want to have theology be theology and science be, be science, but what's a bridge? What's something that we can use to tie these two ideas? We can find an example of that in St. Bonaventure's work, The Mind's Journey to God. In that journey, St. Bonaventure, similar to the founder of his Franciscan order, St. Francis, explains a mystical experience that he had of this six-winged seraph. And he saw in these six wings three pairs that are metaphorical in how we come to truth. At the first level of coming to truth, St. Bonaventure says that we can understand the world around us in a way that would be very common to the modern sciences. Weighing things, measuring things, comparing things, understanding their physical properties. St. Bonaventure states that as we do this, we begin to see that there is this beautiful order to creation. And that in that order, what we find is an expression of beauty that points to something beyond the thing itself that needs to be understood. A way that we can understand this is by the terms that St. Bonaventure would use of comprehension and apprehension. Comprehension meaning that we can look at a thing and understand it in its totality based on its physical properties. How it behaves, what's its chemical content, what's its color, how does it interact with different things. Apprehension, on the other hand, is to understand that there is a certain knowledge that we can gain about a thing, but then there are things that go beyond this knowledge, that go beyond our understanding, pointing to other questions, such as meaning and purpose. St. Bonaventure would explain that as we move from that point of understanding a thing through measuring it, weighing it, finding the sense of order and the sense of beauty, that we can see within the created world that all things, by their very nature, reflect the image of God. And to borrow from biblical language, all things by their very nature give praise to God because of that image that they contain. However, the human person is unique that the human person contains both the image and the likeness of God because of our ability to not only comprehend, but also apprehend something that goes beyond the thing itself, to apprehend those questions of meaning and purpose, which then in St. Bonaventure's theology leads us to the final movement of ascent, of understanding the triune God, understanding Father, Son, and Spirit in a way that has no relation to the idea of measuring things that's very distinct from that way of knowledge, but leads us into the question of ultimate meanings, ultimate beginnings, ultimate ends, and an ultimate purpose for the life that we live.